Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and this is the evolutionary astrology message for the week of December 28th to January 4th, 2020. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas everybody. And may we have an amazing 2020, a very transformative, important year for all of us, for the world, for awakening. And may we all remember who we were and what we did to contribute to that change in these crucial days. What kind of a year is 2020? <clears throat> well, <clears throat> if we look at how it opens up, it opens up with two distinct energies, right, Georgia? One is a Capricorn stellium from Earth. <laughs> I don't want to say from hell, I want to say from Earth. Um, a Capricorn stellium that is very realistic, very practical, very deep, non-compromising, and, and with enormous strength and power that forces us to look at things as they are and to understand that we do have the strength to pull through, to change to grow up, to realign, to take responsibility, that we need to deal with our own shadows, that we can be our own worst enemies. And it's a very ambitious undertaking to go out on this sojourn for the next set of rules, Saturn, the next law, that we as men and women need to follow in order to develop and assure the existence of our civilization, which is the aim of Saturn and Capricorn. Make this withstand with stability the trials of time. And as I said before, this Capricornian energy is when the chickens come home to roost or when your crops fail, depending on how good of a farmer you have been to your land. And us as people can deal with collective karma as well as we go through 2020. Definitely, with this energy, we would not be able <clears throat> um, not to see things. I want to talk about the other energy in the sky at the time of the turning of the year, which is a moon in Pisces conjunct Neptune. Talking about uh, uh, jumping into your own bubble and, and, and running away from reality, about escapism, about uh, um, romance, you know, about naivety, about utopia this could be one one way to deal with all that earth energy with all that dose of reality coming in in our life let's drink something let's use something let's run away into a fuzzy warm place so we don't feel the storm however that is not suggested what the other more positive outcome of that very sensitive energy can be is that our intuition is heightened, that our heart chakra is open, that our need for unity, Neptune, Pisces, our need for spirituality and unity with that sacred spirit with that great spirit, with nature, with the universe, that simple yet profound understanding that we are all in this together, we drink the same water, we eat the same food, we need the same earth, <laughs> that we are all the same, we all need love, we all need warmth, we all need understanding. There's a place beyond words and borders and creeds and nations. That very profound, very spiritual and utopian 
understanding could be a driving force for all of that Capricorn energy, for all of that practical change on the ground. Because what are we heading into? We are heading on the 10th of January to another eclipse, this time a lunar eclipse in Cancer, heightening the need as this year begins for us to concentrate both personally and collectively on where we belong to Cancer, on our sacred femininity Cancer, on being more motherly, nurturing and like a womb Cancer, of going through the internal uh, uh, emotional process of digestion and maturation so we could spring anew with new creativity later on. Providing a safe place that we can all feel warmth and know we belong to Cancer. That sacred feminine energy is needed to heal ourselves and the world that has become too concrete and and cold and hollow hollow of that warmth hollow of that belonging hollow of that nurturing it has become to the point and that point is too edgy for a lot of us it's actually painful <laughs> So that feeling of rekindling of the flame of the clan, the clan of humanity, the fact that we are all brothers and sisters. We are all related, as the Lakota say. It's very much akin to the spirit of 2020. And may we all understand how connected we just are. Let's see how the days run. So the 28th, not a very stable emotionally day, and Sunday the 29th as well. Watch out for uh, um, being too somber as Mercury, planet of communication in our left intelligent brain, um, goes into Capricorn, making us again, you know, heightening that stellium in Capricorn and giving us the need to realign, mature, understand what is the information that can provide us with the laws, the laws that will set us free. Um, and then on the 30th, Mercury and Capricorn trines Uranus at expansive time with information, with ideas, a time that we can have understandings, a uh, time that new, profound uh, uh, ways can appear that we can find new innovative methods of changing ourselves, of bettering ourselves, and indeed allow yourself to be flexible through these days. We can find new groups and new friends through these days that actually help us on our personal voyage. Um, but watch out from aggression on the 30th and 31st. Um, another wonderful day for communication, much calmer, very good for value, for money, for assets, for work. And then on the first, um, sensitive kind of ex escapism days with the moon in Pisces conjunct Neptune. Great for having parties, great for romance, great for running away from it all, just for a second, for coming back to the ground and to reality. The second is kind of sensitive with the Moon and Chiron conjunct. Um, Mercury is conjunct Jupiter, only heightening what I said before about this being an expansive time mentally, a time that we can broaden our horizons and reach a higher level of wisdom. A lot of spirituality there as well. Uh, just be careful not to be too straightforward. Be careful not to be um, um, disrespectful of other people's opinions. Um, and then Friday, Saturday, more Friday than Saturday, the moon is squaring Saturn and Pluto. So be careful from either doom and gloom and from being obsessive or too 
judgmental and hard and staunch. Just ease up a little bit. Mars enters Sagittarius on the 3rd and that could certainly help you ease up things as this fiery forward moving energy can really help us get to our objective on one hand but we do have to watch out before we jump into the pool just test the water and make sure it's deep enough and with that <laughs> um, I want to remind you that on the 10th we are heading towards a release with that lunar eclipse and uh, Cancer and Uranus starting to move forward so the energies are going to be reactive up to then they're going to be setting you and 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 triggering you up to then and remember that up to that lunar eclipse your responses are sacred you will be looking back in retrospect on this time and I want you to be able to look at you even this is a storm even if this is a storm I want you to say to yourself wow I could be really proud of myself because this was a challenging time and I acted wonderfully and this would be a, a, a point of strength for you so what I wish you I wish myself and may we all grow in strength happiness and may our light shine forward stronger than ever before and fill this universe with light and love and healing. May 2020 be the year that this world has made its choice, made its choice and chose life and chose nature and chose peace. And God forbid, you know, with this Saturn-Pluto conjunction happening every 34 years, if I'm not mistaken. This is a militaristic, extreme, hard, sometimes even um, cruel kind of combination. We all have to pray for peace and that governments around the world will not flare up conflicts just to ease the tension and the problems that they have at home. May we all live long and prosper. And by the way, this is probably the last time or the time before last with this kind of surroundings. Next uh, weekend is moving day. If you are from Tel Aviv area and you know of a tour of an apartment, I'd love to know about it. And of course, for private consultations, private lessons and courses, you're free to uh, check out all my contact details at the end of this video. May we all live long and prosper and a happy 2020. And a Merry Christmas to you all. Bye-bye.